It is time to talk about down jackets. Yeah, and this isn't really a review. It's just kind of an overview, overview. Of, what, of what we've got. Yeah. So we get questions a lot about like what jackets are you using? Um, both Kevin and yeah, I. Yeah, we do get questions a lot actually about <laughs> about which ones we're using. Yeah. We're, both you and I are unique in that we have like a lighter down jacket for more three season. Yeah. And then he, then a heavier like insulated jacket for winter camping. So. I did. I did not start my backpacking career doing that. I had one jacket to rule them all. Me too. And I just like, just kept layering them. Well, yeah. Down. And once we got into winter backpacking, we kind of had to change that strategy up. Yeah. After Dolly Sods, I was like, I got to get, I got to get a nicer, like, right. I got to get better insulation. So, so we've got jackets from Mountain Hardware, Patagonia and Montbell that covers most of the, most of the big, most name. of the big backpacking brands. And we're just going to run through them. We're going to start uh, lightest to heaviest. And oldest to newest, actually, yeah. and and just walk you guys through like our kind of our evolution in down jackets, a high level overview on all these, and kind of like what we think about them. Yep. So we're gonna start with the OG one. Yeah. So this. You, what is this called? I don't know. <laughs> it's not on there. It's this. So this is a. <laughs> when did, how old is it? Do you remember? I don't know. This is I probably ten years old. So this is just a Mont Bell. I'm gonna call it just their ultralight down sweater. I don't see it on their website anymore, but that doesn't surprise me. Literally, it is a no frills down jacket, no pockets, no hood, full zip. Comes in at 6.3 ounces, so it's super. That's so light. It's That's super the lightest light. one. Do yeah, you remember? It, do you remember the price tag on that? Probably at least 250 back and, in the day. And is it? I'm assuming it's real down. Yes, this is real down. Okay. I don't remember the weight. It's it's been so while. It's been so long. Uh, but I mean, it's not it's not the warmest thing in the world. What would you? What temperatures would you recommend taking that down to? Uh, I've worn that before. Mm -hmm. um, like it, 50s. Yeah, 50s. Anything below 50s, it gets this by itself with like just like a, a thin shirt underneath. It gets still too yeah. cold. You need another layer. Um, I mean, it's great because it packs up super small and it's super light. But um, I mean. It's really only three season, and that's yeah. about that's about it. Um, but I mean, Montbell products are great. I bought they this. Are. I bought this because it was the lightest thing that they had for like a three season jacket at the time. So, and I think it's. I mean, six point three ounces. That's, that's, that's stupid light. Yeah, that's really light. Andy brings up a good point with that jacket, and that really stressed the importance to me of pockets and a hood. Yeah, because as we kind of travel through these, the next ones all have those two items. I I personally would not buy a down jacket again that did not have pockets or a hood. If you had to choose pockets or hood, pockets over a hood. Yeah. Yes. Because you can always bring a hat or something. Yeah. 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 So the next, the next one in the arsenal. This is probably one of the most pop popular backpacking down jackets. Yeah, and these things are crazy expensive. Yes, and Stock. I looked up the price. So <laughs> this is the Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisper. This is an incredibly popular jacket. A lot of reasons why. So it is about, it's a little bit heavier than the Montbell. It comes in about seven, seven and a half ounces, um, which is very light. It yeah. is real down. It is fragile. Now you can see, now I've had this for three or four years. Uh, and you can see like, I've got Andy kind of taped that for me. I've got all sorts of tape on this from nicking it. It is, I mean, it's very light. So there's a trade off and it's, yeah. it's a, it's a, it is a nylon based outer that will tear and will catch on stuff. And it's just going to happen. So, I mean, now that, that'll happen on the month. That'll right? happen on them all. This jacket retails at $325. That's crazy never, expensive. Never pay that much for this jacket. In fact, most of the jackets, well, my jackets at least, I all got on sale. I got this on steep and cheap for between like 100 and 130. That's why I got this stupid color. That's a great deal for this jacket. Yes, Get for this sure. jacket for 150 bucks. It, it is, it packs up just as light as the Montbell. It's a, it's maybe half an ounce heavier, but it has pockets, an interior pocket, exterior pockets, and a hood, and it packs up just as small as the Montbell. It is very comfortable. Without it, with just a t-shirt on, I would say just like the last one, if it dips below 50, you're gonna feel it. But this is a great, the great 
three season down jacket. It's also really soft. I've used it as a pillow before and is really good to layer underneath it. It's a great jacket. There's a reason it's super popular. It's yep. just so expensive. Do not pay three hundred twenty-five dollars no, for it. You get can, something else if you're gonna pay. That you much. can you can find them on sale. No reason to do that, but there's a reason why it's super popular. the The biggest cons are it, other than the fact that it's really expensive, is it is a little fragile, so you got to baby it a little bit. Other than that, great backpacking jacket, I yep. would say. Yep. And there's a reason it's super popular, and, and you just you see this in like so many people's videos, the the Ghost Whisperer jacket. Yeah, and I think at the time when when I was looking at like uh, big box name down jackets, like Mountain Hardware was leading the charge on like the ultralight down jackets. Yeah. I mean now that now they're all over the place. Yeah. But but that was like that was one of the the only options another, uh, like that you could. There's another one right there. Yeah. Uh, and this also this jacket also has a cinch a cinch on the waist, which I like. So there's a lot of features for a jacket that's like seven ounces. Yeah. Just yep. three hundred twenty five dollars. Get out of here with that. It's real down though. So after um, you know after Andy and I we started really doing winter backpacking and I also wanted a good like around town down jacket. That's when we kind of started to look at, okay, what can we get above the like ultralight class of down jackets? So that leads us to the next two we're gonna talk to. Now this jacket, so this is the Patagonia down sweater hooded jacket, cheaper than the uh, Ghost Whisper. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like 270, 280 bucks, which for a Patagonia jacket is a really good deal. I got this at the Patagonia garage, not a garage sale, that's why I have this blue color. I got this for 150 bucks, brand new. Great deal. I love this jacket. It is significantly warmer than the Ghost Whisper. Obviously, it weighs about a pound, so it's about twice as heavy. We're obsessed with Patagonia stuff. They make great stuff. I've had this for two years now. It doesn't have a single hole in it. I wear it constantly in the winter. This is my winter jacket. Nothing, no rips, no tears, no down feathers coming out. Patagonia stuff is bomb proof this jacket included it's also made uh it's made from recycled nylon oh. shout out there it also packs down fairly well so i really like it it's not going to be as warm as one of the jackets we're going to get into i would say like my so my kind of dipstick measuring test for down jacket is can you wear a t-shirt like what temperature can you wear with just a t-shirt on it yeah this you can certainly wear below freezing with a t-shirt. I would even say into the mid to upper 20s. You're going to be without wind. If it's 25 degrees, you're going to be okay with just a t-shirt on. Now, never am I ever in those conditions without wind. And this is not windproof. So I would say if, if you're going below 20 or, or deep winter, you still need to layer underneath it. But for just a simple daily driver, bomb proof down jacket, I, I I can't say enough nice things about the Patagonia down sweater jacket hoodie. Yeah, that's the name of it. Uh, and it retails for two seventy five for a Patagonia product. That's not that bad. Yeah. So this has been my daily driver for the last several years. You know, like I said, for three season stuff, the the Ghost Whisper is coming, but I don't screw around in the winter. This thing's coming. And for a around town jacket, it makes a great backpacking jacket. And how much does it weigh? It weighs a pound, a little bit more. So Patagonia, once again, winning. Now, Andy's gonna talk about the last down jacket here, which is the sweetest one. Yeah. It's so pretty sweet. After our Dolly Sods trip last year, when we were just destroyed by cold weather. <laughs> we we're like, F this. I said, never again. Yeah. And I came back and I started doing research. I, I, I wanted like, I wanted a good durable <laughs> down jacket. Didn't really care about weight so much but I wanted to be able to be comfortable in really cold temperatures. So after spending a lot of time browsing, I went, I went uh, Mont Bell because I've had good luck with Mont Bell stuff. And this is the Permafrost, I'm gonna get the name, Permafrost Light Down Parka um, from, from Mont Bell. That's a beast. About $280. So it's the same price as the Patagonia About one. About $280. Yeah, Mont Bell stuff's great. And it weighs- Price conscious too. Yeah. It weighs slightly over a pound and then this thing is like the Cadillac of down jackets. It's got- It's real down, right? Yeah, it's real down. It's, uh, it's let me see here. It's got really nice down in it, actually. Like, I think 800 for 850 fill, maybe? Eight, 800. Okay. Not, there's better, but 800 yeah. is pretty solid. For 280 bucks, so yeah. this, this costs 
and almost weighs the same because it's it's real down, not synthetic. This costs and weighs the same as the Patagonia jacket. And if you're looking for like outdoor warmth technical jacket, this one wins. Yeah, and so I mean it's got a it's got a hood that's just filled with down. It's got um, it's got inner pockets and outer zip pockets. All the zippers are sealed as well. That's awesome. I forgot um, the zippers are sealed. It's got a gore wind stopper fabric on the outside. So it's windproof. It's definitely it's wind resistant. It, it's wind resistant, and um, I have had it in the rain, and the the moisture does bead on it, but it probably would soak through after okay. a little bit. Um, it's got 4.3 ounces of down in it. It's pretty good. I can wear a t-shirt under this thing. And I remember when we were in Red, Red River Gorge, it was probably just about freezing when we got to camp the first night, like around 32 degrees. I just had a t-shirt on underneath this doing camp chores. I was sweating tremendously. Yeah, it's warm. I could probably be comfortable in a t-shirt with this thing down into the 20s pretty easily. Um, I, I remember I've slept in it a few nights and woken up in the middle of the night just sweating. Um, it is a it is exactly what I wanted a durable down jacket um, that's super warm. Uh, I I can't say enough good things about it. I was gonna go with like an, a version that didn't have the wind stop around it, but I just figured I'm gonna go like I'm not gonna sacrifice. If it. you're taking it into the elements, you might as well. Yeah, it's get only the pound. Wind. It's only a pound. Yeah, it's only a pound. So like Montbell's got some stuff that you know you can get a. A, a really nice warm coat with uh that's a little bit lighter so that is our rundown of our down jackets you know it's evolved over the years we don't screw around the winter yeah i mean I, I think if you were gonna get like one jacket if you were looking to buy one jacket first of all like great deals on down jackets are all over the place yeah i, would, I would never just, pay full price yeah i was just at costco and they had like eddie bauer lightweight down jackets with hoods and pockets for like 50 bucks i mean yeah that's just, get one of those yeah i mean so it's so good i i would definitely recommend if you if you're looking to get a down jacket me personally get a hood get pockets makes life a little bit easier for yes slightly definitely more if there's one takeaway to this video it is go at least one of those things at least hoods or pocket yeah. Both of them, if you can, it's worth the wait, especially if you're getting this for winter backpacking, having the hood is incredibly helpful, especially for sleeping. Yeah, I mean, it's just annoying. Even in, even in three season, if you're wearing a down jacket, you don't have anywhere to put like your lighter and your knife. Oh, or po your po yeah, knife. pockets are great. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. That's a rundown of our down jackets. Let us know what you guys think about your down jackets, and we will see everybody on the next one.